Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking you through how I started my bullet journal and show you a few pages that I started and a few ideas. I'll also show you some extra things I used to make it a bit more colourful and more interesting, where you can get them and how much they cost. Okay, so we start off with my main journal. I got this from Paper Chase. As you can see inside, it just has lined paper. The only options they had were plain and lined and I wanted the structure of the lines so I could follow and make boxes. I can't remember how much exactly this cost me but I think it was around £7. It really wasn't that bad and it's got a lot of pages. I went for the thicker one. There were smaller notepads that you could get but I wanted the thickness of that. So also from Paper Chase I got this pack of eight tapes. I've been seeing a lot of people use washi tape and at £1.50 a roll I thought it was just a tad expensive for me I managed to find all eight colors for six pounds so that's less than one pound per roll of tape they're really nice pasta colors as well so I thought they'd go really nicely with the colors on my bullet journal as you can see on the front I've just put two strips of the tape I've used the blue and the purple and I've just written on sharpie because you do need sharpies to write on these pens the sharpies I use I've got my black one and my purple one. The next thing I use is my fine liner pens. I've got just a small selection of colours but I find they're the only colours I really need and it's really nice to have the fine tip as it's a lot easier to write, to draw boxes and if you want to do little drawings they're just really good to use for the bullet journal. The last thing I got was this paper pad and in it you have loads of different designs so I cut these up and they just add a bit of colour and definition to each page. I got this from my local stationery shop and it cost me £3.99 but the brand is Bella Rose and I'm sure you can find them online also I will link them in the description below. So starting off we have my key page which I copied from a lot of Pinterest bullet journals they follow this key so as you can see they all have their own little symbol you've got the simple box for most of them and you learn pretty quickly what they mean so you don't have to keep referring back but it's there in case you want it so my first actual page you can see i've used one of the pages from the bella rose i copied this design from a bullet journal i saw online and i will try and find it and link it below for you on this page we have the year overview i started in july that's why mine starts there but it worked out really well because i just had the six months that fit onto one page here is a really good thing to revert back to when I'm drawing out my months and I can quickly see which day the month starts on or how many weeks are in a month and it's just really nice visually to start the journal off. So on my next page I have my future log. Now I've seen a lot of people use their future log slightly differently but the way I use mine is because I draw the months as I go along if there's something I really need to remember I'll write it into my future log so that when I'm drawing out my month I can refer back to it and write it in straight away so after that I have my birthdays page as you can see it's virtually empty because I have not got round to filling in everyone's birthday yet but I've left two pages for that because I'm sure it will get filled up. So moving on to my next page I have my month of July so as you can see I've used my tape for when things cross over several days so I've got my little key up here to tell me what the tape means but I also have enough room to write in the things I'm doing on the different days. My next page this is my YouTube page so I just have a few ideas of videos I want to make and I can literally scribble down and cross off the ones I've done so you can see I've just got my bullet journal video there and then on this side this is my film company and these are the things I want to achieve with the film company or things I still need to do like editing some videos you can see I want to work on the website so my next page is my weekly to-do list. I set them out week by week. I know a lot of people set them out day by day, but for me, I find it easier to assess what I need to do over the whole week. Otherwise, I get a bit overwhelmed if I set it to just the days because then I'll get too frustrated if I can't do it all in one day. It's just easier for me to spread it across the week. But I still have this system. If I can't get something done, I move it over to the next week and they're usually next to each other so it can just slot straight across. So moving on, I have my goals page. So this is my goals for the summer. Random motivational things, we won't 
It's still too long on this. And then after that, we have the month of August. It is laid out exactly the same as July. By September, you will see I actually cut the tape in half so that you could still fit more writing onto the block and it was just easier. My page after that, we have my personal tracker. Referring back to the goals page, I've written a few things that I want to achieve, but those that are easily tracked, I can track along the way with what I've done. I've drawn little dots down the page, I don't know if you can see, but they make squares along so that once I've completed each task, I keep going. On my second page, I have my budgeting page. This is mainly for uni, so this will get a lot more full as I go along. This is just me making rough estimations of my maintenance loan and my fees and my accommodation, my food for the week and um, extra bills. But that will get a lot more intense in September when everything comes through and I can properly organise my budgeting and start making shopping lists and meals lists. So the next few pages are my weekly to-do lists. You can see this is this week, next week, week after, and then the week after that. And then we moved on to September. So as you can see, this is where I start to cut the tape in half and it just goes across. I usually don't draw two months in advance, but because I'm moving into university in September, I really wanted to write it down just so I could start putting in different events that were going on and I could visually see it how I need to. So that is the end at the moment, as you can see. But like I said, when I start university, I'm gonna fill in a lot more pages. So I'm going to start writing recipes, my meals lists, my shopping lists, more budgeting and events and things like that. There are so many places you can find different people's bullet journals. You can look on Pinterest, on Instagram and on YouTube. I will link a few of my favourite videos or pages below that you can go have a look at and also where I got my inspiration from. I will also try to link where I got my tape, my pens, my journal and also try and find where I got the Bella Rose floral pages. I hope you like this video guys. Sorry for the noise of the cars, my desk is directly in front of the window. If you'd like to see any more of my bullet journal, please let me know. Thanks guys, bye!